the graph shows a function's derivative, f prime. The function is differentiable on its entire domain. And we know that f double prime of negative 1 and 3 tenths is equal to 0, and f double prime of 5 tenths, or 1 half, is equal to 0. First question is, for what values of x is f decreasing? Second question, for what values of x is the graph of f concave up? Justify your answer. And the last question is f of 1 half minus f of 1 divided by 1 half minus 1 positive or negative? And justify your answer. Let's get started. Let's start with the first question. For what values of x is f decreasing? And this occurs when the derivative when its graph is negative. So if we look, the section of the derivative that is below the x-axis is on the interval from 0 to 1. So therefore, the original function f will be decreasing on that interval. The next question asks, for what values of x is the graph of f concave up? And to justify your answer. Well, Graphs are considered to be concave up when the derivative graph is increasing. So if we look at our derivative graph, it's increasing from negative 3 to negative 1, and then again from 1 half to infinity. Therefore, those are the corresponding intervals where the original function f will be concave up. And it's because this increasing or these increasing intervals will mean that the second derivative will be greater than zero. And now let's look at part C. Is f of one half minus f of one divided by one half minus one positive or negative? And we need to justify our answer. Well, this expression represents the slope of a secant line within this interval from 1 half up to 1. Now if we look at the function's derivative within that interval from 1 half to 1, we have the derivative being below the x-axis or being negative. And since the derivative is negative within that interval, so will the slope of the tangent lines and the slope of the secant lines be negative. So this represents the slope of our function from 1 half to 1. And the graph of f prime on this interval is below the x-axis, so it's negative. Therefore, the slope of f will also be negative. 